Hi, I'm uh, Fareed Nayib. I'm Kamen Nayib's father. He loved to play, uh, play video games. He loved to play soccer. He was full of life. We had just gotten back from uh, a family ski trip, my son and my daughter and, and I, and um, life was about as good as it could be. He got a bad note from school one day, a bad email, telling him he was failing a course, and uh, he went, found this gun, which I had no idea that he knew where it was. The gun was locked with a uh, trigger guard, which remained locked throughout all this, and he was able to take the gun and kill himself. And this was in the space of, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I, I bought the gun 30 years ago for personal protection. And when the kids were born, I, you know, I should have thrown it away. I didn't throw it away. I went out and bought a trigger guard for it, locked it, and then forgot about it. I thought I'd done everything I needed to do, and uh, I was totally wrong. And fine if it was just me, but other people have reached out to me, and I am not the only one. I got an email from a dad after came in suicide whose son had died under pretty similar circumstances. And the email he sent me said, I wish I'd known what I know today about impulse suicides and guns. I would have never had a gun in the house. And I rethink about that message a lot. If I'd gotten it before something had happened to Cayman, then I would have probably gotten rid of the gun. I felt that when a child was going to commit suicide, there would be warning signs. And there was nothing. Kids get upset. And they make bad decisions when they're upset. And by having a gun in the house that they can access, you give them the ability to make that bad decision permanent. You know, I mean, Cayman is, is, is dead. I'm, I'm trying to turn a negative, not so much into a positive, but if I can prevent other people from having this negative with, with things like this, and I need to do that. And my own personal mantra is I want to do 14 good things, one for every year of Cayman's life, and so I'm kind of working through those, uh, those things, as well as to try and get the message out that you're, again, you're at risk, talk to your kids about suicide, remove any easy way to commit suicide, I don't think there's a hour I don't think about Cayman and his death. It's, it's really before Cayman and after Cayman. This heartache is unbearable, and if I had not had a gun in the house, I would not be experiencing it.